Now, this is very, very interesting here because I've just bought it. This, and this looks like a vent. As you can see here, guys, look at that. A vent that comes up from the ground. So this is actually a vault. And you can see the stone slab on it there and it says S-S-E-L-L -L. now I can't see the rest of it but I'm presuming that name is Russell 1885 it says so it's the Russell vault from 1885 wow and it's all that old railing area look at the size of that and there's that vent coming from the vault there I'll go around and see, can I have a better look at that? But you can just see that vent. And I'll zoom in and show you. Look at that vent coming from the vault. And I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. That's very, very interesting. What a find to find that. And there's the name, Russell. Now, whether that's 1885 or 1785, or sorry, it's 1885. I presume it is 1885 that's on that. Russell is the name. So the Russell family vault. Wow, guys, what is this? Look at that wall, the way it's built. And it goes down into this hidden area here away from the the graveyard and there's a hole there with like a gate behind it or something there's a name on it Morris 1861 it says look at that and it's a vault that's built all that hillside is built over it. look at that Absolutely stunning. And I'm just wondering, can I get a look inside here? And if you just look in there, you can see there's actually a door and a load of spiders also as well, and spiders, webs and stuff. But you can see that old iron door there. So behind this wall, there's an iron door that's in the vault. And that massive, ugly spider there also. Just look at that door there. An old iron door in the vault. Wow. So, this is in front here. And you can see the way it's built on the hillside. So that was closed up. Whether that's the original part of it or, what, or not, I don't know. But it's Morris. 1861 is the name on it. That is absolutely stunning. Hidden away and that old rusty iron door in the background through the hole that goes in to the area where those people are buried. And you can just see the wall area there. And there's this path here that brought me all the way in. To the area of that vault, look at that. Amazing. This old railing here. And it looks to me like it's a, a vault here. And there's a roof on it there, you can see. And it's covered in ivy. But that's another old vault. And I'm going to try and see, can I get around the other side of that maybe? There might be a door on the other side, but... You can see all the overgrowth and the old railing around it there. It might be hard to get into that area. Building here. Now, I don't know, is that a mausoleum or an old part of the church? It's covered in ivy. So I'm going to try to go in that direction in that area. And there we can see more of those old railings and chest tombs hidden in all the growth so I'm going to try to make my way in this part here there's a gap
and it looks like it's a an old mausoleum in here hidden you can just see at one time there could have been statues there or something and there's the door and the door is blocked up and it has the same look on the other side there as well now there is a plaque above the door so I'm going to try and read the names on it now it says here are deposited the beloved remains it says now it's hard to see Helen Eldon daughter of Abraham Morris now we've seen the name Morris and the last vault we found so if, I wonder is there a connection to this family and it's very hard to see dates now I do see dates at the bottom here we see December 1822 and November 1829 also and there's that old plaque over there and the uh, original entrance is blocked up and I think this underneath my feet here guys looks like to me this is the original door of the vault so they've blocked up that entrance to the vault and this is the original door to the vault look at that 1800s vault door and you can just see the part of it there also so that's the original old door that was belonging to that entrance of that old mausoleum with the plaque over the door there so while I'm here guys I'm trying to go in this direction because in there I was mentioning a couple of minutes ago there was some kind of a tomb or crypt that was covered and the door entrance I would say would be the far side of it so I'm going to try and see can I get in around there and have a look and investigate deep in those wooded area in the wooded area there with all those trees so guys I've made my way there's the old railing and there's the the old crypt that I saw the other side of it so I've come around through all this wooded area and the old railing that goes around it and the door has fallen apart on this old crypt look at that and you can just see inside the roof of the crypt and all those coffins maybe one coffin is in there and the strange thing is I don't see any bones or remains in there of the crypt but there is if I can zoom in and show you all parts of coffins there at the very back you can see the handle of one of the coffins just there and there's all that coffin has just broken in pieces unfortunately it's sad to see that a crypt is left like that whether the remains were taken out of there or not I don't know but you can see all that broken coffin it just has broken away I'm sure there's a name on this here maybe not but you can just see where the part is broken away you can see the old iron ring on it there either side I'll just try and come back out and show you you can see the old ring is there either side of it look at that but that was the door entrance to it so what a find that is guys an old hidden crypt inside with all those broken pieces of coffin there with the handles still attached wow
So that's the side of the crypt area there. It's all covered. 